Let's never ask for anything more than Pac-Man because, hey, that's all you do in video games. Eat dots. The movie scenes that advance the plot are separated with much too long periods of play. Final Fantasy VII is far from the near masterpiece that game critics and fans have been calling it. Novice players will find it virtually impossible to do well. Your mission is to terminate the aliens who have invaded a high-tech military base on Mars. Who knows how they got in? The biggest controversy in video games of all time was centered around Mortal Kombat. Ironically, the movie was not criticized for violence. The scrolling speed is comparable to real-life walking speed. If you think our games are bad, then you wouldn't believe the violence in Japanese games. Some games are never released over here for that exact reason. It's also more realistic than other games where the bad guys just conveniently fade away after they've been killed. Even Star Wars fans may recognize that running after spaceships these days is getting a little old, at least in video games. Saga Frontier is probably the most non-linear role-playing game of all time. This is not good. Every level begins with a maddeningly long shot of your spaceship speeding through a tunnel or a launch chute. This is crazy. The game also suffers from too much dialogue and hard to read dialogue. We haven't seen a load time that long in ages. It just goes to show you there's a worm in every apple. Well, that's a little overstated. Hey, you make up your own analogy. The eighth ending is hidden, but we're willing to bet two air molecules that the hidden ending appears only after you have played through all seven quests. That will be quite a chore. Expect this game to last at least a month. In fact, the games are so similar that once again we question why this genre is so popular. We have yet to see any tracks that blow us out of our chairs. No huge loops, no gigantic ramp launches, no driving through waterfalls, nothing imaginative. So what do you think Super Mario RPG is about? Saving the princess? Wrong. Bowser does kidnap the famous lady of video games. Who the heck is Booster? Who knows? She even tricks Bowser into kissing Mario as a prank. And the 8-bit ancestor of Mario is found behind a curtain in Booster's tower. You'll beat this game in a week tops if you play a lot every day. Nevertheless, you have to play this game. So rent it, have a ball playing it, beat it, and return it. Grab a pen or pencil, quick. In Super Mario RPG, you have to play three different songs at three different times in order to win membership cards for the drink bar in Tadpole Pond. The last song is the hardest to play. The notes are La Ti Do, Re So, Do Re Mi. I hope you're writing this down. Look closely at the placement of the tadpole shown here to see where the notes go. Again, the notes are La Ti Do, Re So, Do Re Mi. We'll leave it up for the slow riders out there. So keep watching the show for more coverage of that famous mustachioed plumber. Get ready for the most intense action game you will probably ever play. The station appears to be deserted. No one is in the building. The halls are empty. All is quiet. Too quiet. You finally see some men lying on the floor. Something bad has happened. An attack was made, but no one has recently left Ceres Station. Where's the enemy? After intense battle with this hideous creature, now's the time to book it. Things have changed somewhat since last time you were there. The weather is different, and an awkward silence fills the atmosphere, creating a sense of deadness. Within this mysterious planet, you will battle new life forms beyond your wildest nightmares. The journey to find the new hideout of your old foe, the Mother Brain, only begins. Bottom line, this game is a must-have, period. Incredible fun. You'll love this game dearly. Your game heart will beat because of it. Super Star Wars, a classic for the Super NES, but easy to beat with a code. Super Empire Strikes Back, same thing.